Hi, this is Lawrence Frontera, also known as a punk with toys on Instagram. And today I'm going to be going over a review of the Marvel Legends Iron Man Mark III Infinity Saga. As most of you know, um, I collect G.I. Joe, Motu, that's the stuff I'm a complete Smith for the most part. Um, but when it comes to uh, the Marvel Legends and everything like that, I'm picking up the things that I like, and the Mark III armor, and I believe the Mark VI maybe, whatever it was, Mark V maybe, from the first Avengers, are my favorite armor. Um, another reason why this armor means so much to me, or why I like it so much, is my son played with Iron Man more than anything you can imagine. He is an Iron Man, actually back there, I'm actually going to show you um, when I compare them really quick, but... The fact is, I've never seen one kid play with a toy so much, and uh, it's, it's amazing. I made, I bought, I don't know, nine, ten of them. Uh, I fixed them. He has one at his, a couple at his mom's house, his couple here, so when they would break. Um, as he gotten older, he clearly doesn't play with them nearly as much, but I've never seen one kid play with a toy so much. And I get to the point where I just started buying him on eBay and keeping a backup. So, when I see him, Mark this mark three armor come out and it looks so amazing and i had to pick it up for my collection it is my favorite armor but the fact that it mean, meant so much to my son growing up it means a lot to me so quickly we'll take a look at the box um here infinity saga obviously he's already opened tells you that it's iron man and on the back clearly like we know that look Again, still to me, um, one of the best movies. And amazing that it was the first Marvel movie that came out. You watch it now, and it holds up as good as any movie. So, um, I'm going to with the, you know with Thor here. The box has all the figures of the Infinity Saga, and then if you turn it this way, you can see that it was one, um, one picture. You know, what I really should have done is grabbed the, uh, you know what, let's take a second and pause this. All right, unpause. <laughs> Amazing what you can do with technology today. But anyway, take a look at this here. And it would have been cool if it would have been perfect. Like if you've seen the G.I. Joe stuff, uh, you'll know that you can turn them to kind of sit like that. But you look here, you can see that this is one big picture. So I would love to see a poster like this um, put out there. But you can see all the figures, or not all the figures, all the characters from the Infinity Saga, at least the most important one. So anyway, I just wanted to grab my Thor. It's kind of weird, this is end game Thor here. So anyway, put those over here. I'm gonna ramble on, let's not ramble. Um, so anyway, Mark 8. Let's take a look at the figure. Um, quick overlook of him. Here he is with his helmet. Okay, with his helmet up, which I really do love. I love the way it looks. It makes you want to go out and go pick up another one. I can't justify doing that, but it does look really nice. I'll tell you what, in this, in this light, it actually makes it look like his arc reactor is uh, lighting up. But looks really nice again he's uh kind of hard plastic seems a little different than some of the other figures that we've had he does come with a second helmet because clearly you want a helmet that you know has his mask down comes with another set of hands which is made to either look like they are blasting or possibly flying whatever I guess you feel is best. And then he comes with a couple other pieces that I'll go over. Uh, missiles. And from what I can understand, what I believe is that's when it kind of opens up to protect himself when he's getting shot at. So let's quickly take a look at this figure. We're gonna compare him. Um, and I'm gonna try and make this quick. I ran a lot. Let's stop rambling. Let's try and make this quick and you can decide whether or not you want to try and get this figure. All right, so here we have it. Here's our box once again. Infinity Saga. Characters here. All right, 
fine. I kind of went over that. I don't know why I always go over things again. You know what? Let's flip the slide on really quick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Much better. Okay. So, here we have Iron Man. Um, again, take a look at him. This is his unmasked or while it's open. Now, my kid, as I said, always played with this Iron Man. So, going back to the original Iron Man, I thought this was a six inch figure. I never really paid attention. You can see if I take him off the peg here, just how much bigger he is. Um, which kind of shocked me that he's that much bigger than that Iron Man. I don't think he's gonna stand all that well. Because these figures really didn't stand all that well and here's this the next uh from iron man 2 again you can see it but he almost looks more like when you look at the legs they're much closer so the i'm gonna try and stand him this one here it almost looks like you know when they did it it looks more like it's uh even though it's armor i like get molds more to what his legs would be with this you definitely get an idea that he's in a suit. You know, you get all your little different pieces. Um, you can clearly see it's not um, the hidden joint, but that's fine because I think it's supposed to make it look like one of the pieces for the armor. Um, his legs have always been kind of odd, in my opinion, uh, the way that it sits. Yeah, okay, so I did not notice this, that these actually lower the joint. I was watching another review, I believe on Thor, and they lower so they can come out further. I didn't realize that, so I like the fact that these lower, but I do think it looks kind of odd. So if he's standing up, I think you want it to be like that. Um, this piece here was always something that we got rid of on my sons, but it's actually part of the arm. So it actually will flow with it when it's turning up. This piece here, the flaps. Oh, that piece fell already. All right, so. Let me show you here. This here is open, all right? So they give you this small piece here. It's gonna be hard for me to hold, but it actually goes on here that if you don't wanna make him look like he's shooting anything that it covers up that part now you pop this off it's very flimsy it falls off very easily so these are pieces that are going to be lost very easily it just pops on here you have his two missiles all right which i actually had displayed at the beginning and that's probably how i have them displayed i like the way that it looks Turn his head. All right, this one here, again, I believe it's when he's supposed to be opening up. He's getting shot at at the end of Iron Man, but I have a hard time figuring out exactly how it's supposed to go on, whether it goes this way or you spin it this way. I think it's supposed to go on that way. So personally, I don't really like it. Um, two different hands, two sets of hands. Now, I don't mind that his fists are closed on this. As we know, he punches a lot of things. These ones are open all the time, which obviously when he's blasting stuff, it makes it easier with the shields that kind of go up on his hands or the guards, I guess, where this one here it just kind of got in the way but what i don't like is that they do not have a set of hands that you can grab things which would have been really nice um for the figure that we're getting here and then again his head pops off you get a nice little pop and i really want again i like both heads to be honest but the question is do you want to spend that much money on two different figures? And I kind of want them in a battle mode, battle pose. So 
There he is. Now, compared to the size of Thor, who is a very large figure, if I set him up on here, you can actually look and see he's pretty much the same size. Maybe a little bit shorter. Um, but for me, the one thing that I don't really mind about Iron Man being a little bit bigger is he is in a large suit. So you can kind of imagine that he'd be a little bit bigger than life um, and bigger than normal uh, when he's just Tony Stark walking around. But the next do, you know, the head does move back and forth. So you get some good posability when he's flying. Um, you can look down. His joints are really made. You can't really like hear it. Um, he's a tight fit here, but they do the, like the snap. It just kind of, it's like a ratchet. If you can see right there. And I think they're able to do a ratchet more than some of the other figures that I've seen because he is in a suit of armor, but he does have the, the ab flex. Again, looks really nice. I really like the figure. Um, you know, some of these figures I like to get out right away because I like to get them displayed. So I like to do a review, but this is your Iron Man. And if you like the Mark III or the early stages of Iron Man, the early uh, armors, this one is definitely for you. It would have been nice if they would have given us some of the uh, repulsor blasts that we've seen with all these other armors, but they don't even have the option to uh, to do it. Oops. You know, it's just in there. So it's kind of disappointing, but I guess it makes more for maybe a more realistic looking type figure. So anyway, there is a look at your Iron Man. So let's wrap this up and you can decide and I get this video all done. All right, so there you have it. That is the Infinity Saga Marvel Legends Iron Man. Um, one thing I guess I didn't show you is how he looks when he's holding up. So, honestly, I think he looks awesome. I mean, I like the fact that they gave you a hand that makes it look like, he, like he's actually blasting. It would have been kind of cool if they made it so we had a blast effect but i guess this gives you more like a realistic feel um because rather than having a peg here now you actually can see every you know like the repulsor blast this here i kept the fist on let me grab two missiles that i want to go with i can pop this bad boy out here look at that so You're able to turn the arm to a point and they fall off easily. This one might not be as easy to show you. But let's see what we can do here. So you really gotta turn the arm. But again, these figures, they're not meant to be played with. These are um these are mini statues. So there you go, you have Iron Man. Shooting his two missiles. I think he looks nice. Um, I'd have a pose kind of, you know, ready. It's going to be with Thor. So, there you go. There's your Iron Man Marvel Legends. And a quick review. And this guy, again, I just got him today. I don't know why I'm even trying to do that. I just got him today. Um, so, he hasn't even shown up yet. Uh, I got him from Amazon. Target I know has them. Uh, I haven't seen them there yet, but I did order one off Target and then I canceled it once I saw that the the pre-order for these, after they got pushed back a month, all of a sudden it showed up that they were coming <laughs> like the next day. So I was able to cancel the, the Target, the Target one that I ordered. So um, anyway, that's your review of your Iron Man 3, or I'm sorry, Iron Man Mark 3, Infinity Wars 
I'm sorry, Infinity Saga uh, Legends figure. So, I'm rambling on. It's late. I've already done one review on something else. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have, uh, if you have a suggestion, something that you like that I'm doing, something that you don't like and you want to be constructive, please, um, put it in the, you know, put a comment in there. I have no issue with trying to make these videos better for everyone, easier for everyone to watch. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, a punk with toys, I'm posting all the toys that I buy on that Instagram. If I have a review, I post that I got a review that's coming out. Um, and you can follow along. And again, I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. And have fun toy hunting.